And roughly my talk will be centered around a paper that I recently wrote, which is called A Right to Reasonable Inferences, Rethinking Data Protection in the Age of Big Data and AI. The basic gist of that paper was to say that we constantly engaging with digital technologies. They collecting our data, they are assessing our data, they are inferring things about us constantly. And then this data is being shared with various actors. And this data, those inferences, steer our path in life. They, for example, inferences have an impact on whether we get a job, if we get hired, fired, if we get insurance, credit, if we have to go to prison, if we're allowed to university. So if algorithms and big data are basically making up our personality, identity, and steer our path in life, I'm arguing we should have a right to reasonable inferences, a right over how we're being seen. Well, to defend that claim, I actually need to take a step back and compare this very important question to the analog world. Let's just think for a second um, in a human-human setting. The underlying question of that is, who are you? If you ask me that question, I could give you various types of information. I could tell you, for example, that I'm a lawyer. I could tell you that I'm Viennese. And I could tell you that I'm a vegetarian. All those three things are true about me. I give you this information, and what you do with that information is out of my control. What you infer from it is completely out of my control. So from the fact that you know that I'm a lawyer, what you can infer, for example, is that I like books and rules, which is true. From the fact that I'm Viennese, you could, for example, infer that I do like coffee. And from the fact that I'm a vegetarian, you could reasonably infer that I do like animals. There's an intuitive link between the information that I give you and what you can reasonably infer, but you can be wrong. I could tell you, yeah, well, I'm Viennese, but I've been living in the UK for quite some time now. I do drink tea now. I could give this information over and over again. If you believe me or not, it's completely out of my control. So the question is, how is big data and I different? Why should I have a right over how I'm being seen by an algorithm if I can't force human to see me in a certain way? So let's just look at a couple of examples that recently made the news. Netflix, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, all those big tech companies were recently accused to infer very sensitive information about their users without them actually being aware of it. They were accused to infer um, ethnicity, race, gender, um, sexual orientation, health status, all of that, even though their customers didn't know about that. And even worse than that, this information is then often being shared with third parties, for example, credit institutions. Credit uh, institutions are now um, sharing, using social network data, your profile on Facebook, your friends, to determine whether you should get credit. Similar here, where insurance companies use Facebook data and profiles and friends on Facebook to infer if you should get insurance and what rate. So in here, this is the big difference. It's not just the information that I volunteer to you. It's also the information that I passively, unavoidably, and unintentionally actually leave behind. It's my clicking behavior, my geolocation, my eye tracking. All of that is being collected. You look at my friends on Facebook and assess who I am. And from that, very seamlessly, privacy um, invasive and counterintuitively are things that are being inferred about me. I do have an uh, intuitive link between being Viennese and drinking coffee, but how does my browsing behavior impact my credit score? I have no idea about that. And even worse than that, this information is then endlessly being replicated, is not deletable, and it's being shared with third parties. And that digital element, that new digital challenge, is something that the law recognized needs new protection, which is one of the reasons why we do not ha have a right to be forgotten in the digital world now, even though we don't have it in a human setting. So I'm arguing if you do have a right to be forgotten, you should also have a right how you're being seen, and therefore a right to reasonable inferences. <laughs>